and welcome everyone this is a brand new series called how did you make that video in this case it's the royal visit to Australia and Vanuatu um, and this is a video deconstruct now the way it's going to work is that I'm going to take a video that I've watched and uh, liked quite honestly recently in this example it's from the royal family's YouTube channel as background the Princess of Wales and the Duchess of Cornwall go off and visit Brisbane Gold Coast Vanuatu um, in a six day period or so 4th to the 10th of April that's background to it and I'll tell you why so at this point it's quite a relaxing thing because putting my little red dot on the yellow it says at the bottom go watch the video and I'll be here when you get back because there's very little point in me talking about this um, lesson shall we say if you haven't watched the video already so go on off you go go away go and watch the video and then restart this video in a moment and on the left hand side we've got a yellow button a middle button and a bound down button in other words three two one so I take it you've gone away and you've just watched this video now talking personally what made me choose this video and there's three parts to it I think there was a really good story there for the moment I got it in email and I looked at it I thought this video tells a story and there were two if not three quite emotional moments for me where Prince Charles was talking you got all the people around which you may have seen already and I thought that's actually really you know quite emotional not super emotional but enough for me to keep watching and for me to think oh look at those people and then the third one which made me choose it for this series it's a really well made and edited video it all fits together which of course begs the question of how did they make that video and this is where I come in to try and figure out what actually happened now I'm going to call this a video deconstruct uh, video decon it's something I've worked privately on for you know quite a few years and it's really breaking down the visual elements and the audio into smaller timeline pieces so you can literally figure out the mosaic of how what you've just seen on screen is actually something you could possibly do yourself I've called it a video education deconstruct decon call it what you want uh, the point of it is it works like this now in a moment we're gonna have a demo but not quite yet what I've got on screen is my video editor screenshot which is bottom left Vegas Movie Studio Platinum 15 which is only something been in my possession about a week or so now what I've done is I've fair enough privately downloaded the video placed it on the timeline and cut it up in the respective parts and that's what I'm going to look at in the demo so in yellow at the top here from the whole of the video we can see that there are 196 seconds of footage in the entire thing what's that three and a half minutes or so there are 57 events and by an event I mean this area here between the markers is an event it's a particular scene this one where the scrub bar is down here at the middle where Prince Charles meeting some people that is a video on screen event what's literally peppered in over the top one two three four five six seven and eight of them or so is Prince Charles physically on screen usually standing at a lectern speaking now that's a really big deal because it actually overlays the whole theme of the video if you watch the video you might get an idea but without a careful eye on what's actually going on you might um, not know it so for a couple of minutes here oh not that one uh, the one we want is that one yeah great now oh let's stop it don't get any copyright strikes um, what I want to do just for a moment if you are completely new to this and I'm just going to tidy up is to de deconstruct the video what we need to do is look at the components so I can figure them out so remember that the video delivered to me and to you is just one piece of footage and of course you didn't have the video editor there to say you know the person said oh how did you make that but we can figure it out so in other words you can come along here at the start and you can say that there is Prince Charles literally walking down um, with some some local people then it goes into the Clarence House logo which is a white screen and possibly a PNG that's kind of anim animated and it carries on like that what I can do and then this is one of them that I really want to show it's actually this one here isn't it yeah it's this one is that when you come down and 
I'm going to really try and finish this demo in the next 30 seconds because I've spent ages on it. This clip here, which is the passage of time clip, bottom right, that's three seconds long. But if you think how the story is told, Prince Charles is walking down a dusty track. It's a Clarence House video, Royal Family British. There is a passage of time, possibly over through the moving of a vehicle. There is an aerial shot there, maybe, you know, the landing in a plane, who knows. Then the, the landing by boat, it's setting the scene. It's setting the scene. It's setting the scene. People, excited people. Then he's on the lectern speaking. Boom. For me, when the voice is used where it gives me great pleasure, I think he says, or something like that, his voice comes in before you physically see him on stage. And that's how it carries on. And that's what I mean by a learning experience. So we can go down and we can go down. Now, a lot of these clips, to be perfectly honest, aren't difficult. Look at this one. He's playing table tennis. You could have recorded that with your mobile phone. To You know, this is a credit to the Royal Family's production team here. Look, there's another one. They are not difficult to do. This one I particularly like because you've got Prince Charles over here on the right. And then you've got um, the people who are uh, on the beach. But it's, it's a shot that you'd get from the crowd. It's not, you know, done like on a galvanised high-end platform or anything like that. But what you're doing over the six days is collecting lots and lots of footage. And then he finishes right near the end. And if you play this just through, and he walks off, then you fade to white and you're gone. So that was the demo that I could spend ages, ages, ages cutting up to figuring out how that actually did it. And... If you're new to Vegas then, or anything else, a video editor, I've put markers in, um, I've cut it up. This track down here on the bottom is all about the audio. I only get privileged to like the audio, so that will have music and voice in it. And then we've got video elements. So let's just get back to the thing without spending too much time on this. So I should, yeah, I'm on the demo and then I've come off of the demo. So what have we learnt so far? Big deal. There are 57 timeline visual elements in those three minutes. That's more or less about 17 a minute. So if you wanted to go out and make a 60 second clip of something local to you, then if you factor in about 20 odd clips, you'll need 20 clips a minute. This one's used 57. Number two point, if a six day trip, which they went on from the UK, they will need a theme. I would say that the video editors in this example picked up the speech or and I think there's a couple of speeches kind of like in there very carefully interwoven that narrates the whole thing of course the music helps as well then on the last point here any short video clip will do I list illustrated that as the clip did with table tennis you know there's a bit on a beach there's he's meeting some people some smiling faces very very easy to do if you start paying attention to it all now how can we do this ourselves? Now, record many short video clips. I would go out and I would look for keeping the camera, mobile phone, don't care, really still. Keep it still and record clips of about 10 seconds each because then you only need, remember, about a couple of seconds, two or three seconds, and that gives you a buffer in, the clip that you need, and a buffer out. In other words, you chop it up a little bit. My second tip is to record someone talking naturally. If you can get to them and you can record this with a mobile phone or just record a speech or something, give it the narration. Remember that you might use most of the video or even half of it. Then you can overlay images to illustrate that point. And also try and pick up the idea that if somebody starts talking about something, like if Prince Charles said, I took a lovely walk down a dusty road, then show the picture. It can just be a still image on a pan and zoom just to show you. And then the next part here, we are talking about ask yourself what moves you and why you are making that video. What is the story you are trying to tell? Huge, huge deal, I would say, glossed over 99% of the time because people just open a camera, fire off a few minutes, publish it, and they think they've made a video. Quite honestly, they haven't. You know, what they've made is just a clip, which is one, in this example, 1 57th of that component. Let's move it along. So in this example as well, this is a couple of more tips. 
If you're watching back the video, the royal visit to Australia and Van... Oh, that's, I nearly had it then. Vanuato. Vanuato. Then you can open the transcript. That will give you a running timeline order that everything that happens in the video and it's really really accurate if you look here even in 35 seconds in it tells us there is some music also the welcome shown to me and by the very great honor you have bestowed in other words you know you're, you're looking for script that something helps to tell your story three buttons open the transcript another tip and that is make yourself even force yourself to go out and get really proficient with a video editor. That can be on a desktop or on a mobile. It's something that makes your videos. And to be perfectly frank about it, this whole thing about uh, machine learning, AI, all these automatic programs, I don't think any of them can actually make up for that human heart and the head to actually make the story. It really, really can't, in my opinion. OK, Windows. In this example, I've used Vegas Movie Studio 15. On Android, as you know, if you follow this channel, I've done tons on Power Director. Top left is how I learnt um, Vegas Movie Studio. I went on there and I went onto YouTube and I looked at Sony Vegas 11 because somebody had given me an old, old copy. And I literally, how many have I got in there? 50 videos and I just saved every single one. Every single one had a new technique and I wanted to tick them off to make sure that I knew them. And I did, in many respects. Then I went on, you know, oh goodness me, that was 2013. 2018, here I am making another one, Vegas Movie Studio 15. I don't really care what you use, whether it's Final Cut, Adobe Elements, um, Lightworks, anything under the sun. Just get good at it. The same way as I wouldn't expect you to be playing any kind of piano, all I would say is can you play a piano and if you're presented with a piano, can you use it and make something beautiful? I'm sure you can. On the right hand side bottom is my playlist for Power Director and the one I put up here is very, very different. Here is a timeline um, with a picture in picture thing going on. What do we got next then? Because we've got to wrap this up. Remember, if you're watching this so far, well done. If you come up to something like your video editor, it can be extremely daunting for people when they open that editor up, even though they've got a ton of clips at the top here, and they have got a left, right, blank, blank, blank timeline, and it is really, really hard to get started. It's the same thing, I would say, actually, in the teacher in me that says, if I was going to be teaching, and I have done many, many years ago to teach creative writing, you know, to children, seven to 11 year olds. And that is, if you're given that blank piece of paper, it is a nightmare because you don't know what to fill it with. Even if some smart person comes along and says, hey, look, here's a shelf full of uh, dictionaries, thesaurus, um, grammar books, whatever you want to find to convert all of those and shove them onto that paper to make something incredibly brilliant and readable and lovable shall we say, is really, really hard. And that's why if you come onto this timeline, I don't believe that there are many people around who are actually teaching the video timeline and actually how to make it. I'm not a huge video maker, I'm a teacher. But I've, in the last five years, tried to push out and push out to try and reflect on what exactly is going on with other people. So, thankfully, um, in something like Vegas Movie Studio 15, as an example, they actually give you a completed little welcome video and it's all about um, backpacking and animals and it looks like this on screen and you've, you've got all of the videos you can play around with you've got a title track there is a video track there is another video track there's a load of sound going on and you can chop it around and really really interrogate this thing deconstruct it construct it um, change the timings whatever you wish to to get proficient at it that's one example. Now, we're nearly over. And finally, he, here's another tip. Watch any video film or TV show and learn to look and think in three different ways. Number one, you've probably been doing all of your life, and that is do it for the entertainment value, whether you go to the movie theatre or it's your favourite TV show, you just watch it. If you actually want to watch it, say, for entertainment, that's brilliant. If you want to watch it to learn something for education, even better. Number two, 
look at the story, the timing, and the camera angles. And if you're really good at it, listen for the audio as well and figure out how it all mixes together. You know, just listen to a piece of music, any music, classical music, modern music, don't care. Look at it. How does it go together? Which leads to number three in a different colour. Think to yourself, could you do it yourself? The chances are you actually can with a bit of work. I've worked up and I've taken, I won't mention them, but tours around various media production things. And I've gone in there and went, looked at it and they go, oh, thank you very much. And I've looked at it and thought, I can do that. I can do that. And I remember famously back in 2011, I think it was, 2012, someone showed me a whole video editor. And I looked at it and I was just like, I can't do that. I don't know what it is. Now, I can. And you can too. So going on to this, uh, sorry, going on to this thing about um, look at the story, the timing, really, really closely with camera angles and on screens. Look at this. This looks incredibly infect, uh, uh, infective. I was going to say incredibly effective. It's from Jessica Jones, 2018. There are four shots. Really, really simple. And you can so easily replicate them. Top left here is an apartment building. Must be, I think, New York because that's where it's set. It's a little Gaussian blur, bit of tilt shift going on. Tiny bit of colour correction done. This one down here is another building. Look, Gaussian blur around the outside, tilt shift, slightly to the, done. This one here, they've, they've shoved the camera, which I think is exceptionally good, uh, into the flower beds. And they're just looking at it. one of the characters here is, I think, outside a university is about to meet somebody. But it's a really effective geometry. This one up here is the classic looking down one of the streets in New York. Quite honestly, there are tons of these things around, but the, what's made it slightly different is bringing the saturation up, bringing a bit of blur, making it look a little bit of tilt shift. If you can, have a look at this simple, simple, really good storytelling of Paul Dark. This one's from 2015. And it is nothing more than exactly what I've said about 10 second clips. You know, they, they speak for themselves. Bear in mind that they're on screen as video, but you can see them as still images. Demelza here, looking out to sea. Another sun reflection in the sea with the meadow grass. A close-up of the meadow grass. We've got Demelza in it. Okay, that one there is exceptional. In, in terms, you've got the character Demelza and the flowers. Isn't it lovely? This one is just a great photo geometry with the sun peering through. You can do these with a mobile phone. You really, really can. Underneath the, I think it's tin, um, I hope I've not got this wrong, the tin mines in Cornwall, UK. Look, take a screenshot, think, could I do this? Out of these nine shots, I reckon you could easily do one, two, three, four, five, six of them easily. Easily. Okay, you can't possibly do the ones where you've got the actors in it, but if it was real life, you, yeah, people can have a picnic, people can look out to see really really easy to do last thing thank you very much for how did you make how did you make that video i don't know how to say this you can help me out how did you make that video how did you make that video this one was the royal visit to australia and vanuato he has to look on his bit of paper to say it properly next time on how did you make that video we're going to have a look at national geographic and the ancient maya or maya now here it's a really lovely little educational video it's got a voiceover it's got animations it's got animated timelines it's got drone footage but it's a very very skillful bit of kit so that was me on how did you make that video by youtube mike downs recorded 17th of may 2018 and in a brilliant way fade to black.